The start of the new Premiership season created a lot of excitement because of the new 12-team division made up of four of the Super 6 clubs from last season. And at the Green Yards and understrength Melrose took on Heriots, one of the favourites this campaign. But it was the home side who went ahead early on with a penalty from Luke Townsend to settle the nerves. Melrose certainly had the best of the opening stages, but it was Thomas Glendinning who scuttled in for the first converted try to put the City side in front. The Black and Yellows hit back with this converted try from Roley Brett to give the home fans something to cheer. But five minutes later, up popped Glendinning again to snatch the lead back with this effort to make it 14-10. It was a ding-dong first half and just before the break Morgan Gabe crossed for a try which looked as if it would put Melrose into the lead at half time. But there was plenty of stoppage time in both halves and a late Noah Sakapaji try edged the interval scoreboard into Heriot's favour at 21-15. Two converted tries from Heriot's in the second half gave them the advantage, especially with fly-half Ross Jones on form with the boot, converting all five opportunities, including his own try, which turned out to be the one which would earn the men from Golden Acre a try bonus point. A late score from prop Ewan McLaren gave the nail some daylight to see out the final few minutes, but there was a sting in the tail in stoppage time as Doug Crawford nipped over to give Melrose a little bit of hope as they chased at least one bonus point. But despite a chance of an interception try which was brought back by the referee at the end, there was no further scoring and despite a massive effort from Melrose, they would go away with nothing and Herit start their own campaign with five points on the first day of the season. Final score, Melrose 22, Herriot's 35. It was a fantastic game. Uh, we always knew it was going to be tough coming into Herriot's. Um, it was going to be one of the top two games that we were going to play, kind of harder ones with... Uh, Super 6 series folding, boys kind of stepping down, it was always going to be a tough one, but hey, we were going to embrace the challenge, we'd been written off from the start, to be honest, so we had nothing to lose, really. And it was, of course, it was an understrength squad, was it simply a case of stay in the fight? Absolutely, yeah, hey, we were just, you know, chuck everything at them, kitchen sink as well, and uh, yeah, you know, it showed that for a vast majority of that game, uh, we did, we tried real, real hard, um, gave everything, and as I say, we didn't give up for the 80 minutes, so it was a massively positive performance for us. Yeah, and right in it, 39, sort of 40 minutes, and then they scored right on half time. That must have came. It was a wee bit of a blow. Yeah, hey, that's an absolute killer. To be fair for them, that's absolutely spot on. You know, it's championship minutes that we refer to, and uh, yeah, that try after half time. It was. Uh, I wouldn't say that was game done, but it was definitely a. Uh, you know. Credit to Herits, you know, they, they had hat off to them, they did really, really well there. And what was said uh, in the sheds at half time? Uh, it must have been mo kind of more of the same, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, it was really good. As I say, we uh, just more of the fight, you know, just chuck everything at them again. And uh, yeah, we just need to be more critical when we have the ball um, and maybe defensive wise, out wide, you know, a lot of young guys, some debuts and whatever else as well. So it was, uh, we were always going to be up against it. But yeah, no, credit to the boys. They yeah, dug in for 80 minutes. Like, I was really going to say, young, young lads and, yeah. you know, inexperienced campaigners coming off the bench as well. And absolutely thrown themselves into everything, and you know you've got Will Owen, Big Zen. I think they played 77, 78 minutes as, mm -hmm. as, as props. I mean, again, there must be a huge amount of pride down there right now. Yeah, props in anywhere. There's a tough gig to play 77 minutes, but especially in that weather, it's uh, it's a really big ask. So now nah, hat off to them as well. They did real, real well. But you know, it's just been the kind of cards we've been dealt. We've been you know had the fairly bitter hand of uh, a lot of injuries, like so. It's just one of those things. Boys just wanted to come down, make sure we got the points. Like we knew we had a point to prove. First game of the season, super, as Super Six field and like as an ex Super Six team, we knew that boys would, Merrills would be throwing everything at us. So boys dealt well with it, but I think discipline issues was just the main issue. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say maybe, a, maybe more penalties conceded yeah. than you would like. Yeah, just it's more the compound errors. Like maybe one or two are fine, but going, I think it was six back to back, just killed us. Like we went from Merrills try line back to our own try line in six penalties it's tough to attack off of that yeah and was there a was there a sense of added pressure to an extent today because you mentioned there you know you, you're essentially a you know a full-on super six side coming back into this does that add to the pressure at all not really we just know that teams are just going to throw everything at us because they know we have a point to prove like saying like we were up at that level for a reason kind of thing like and they want to prove to other people like they should have been up there so like it will be like each week we'll have a point to prove like it's not going to be an easy stroll at all like it will be a fight like today, like if we don't play to our top, it will be a dogfight. And from a personal point of view, debuts don't get much better than that. Couple of tries in the first half, you must be delighted. Yeah, it was good, yeah. It was just one of them ones. Uh, didn't expect to go over for the first one. Just played smart rugby, just we said, first 30 minutes, play safe and just happened to slip one tackle and get through enough.